Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Piggy Time. Today's video is kind of a sad video as something unexpected and very sad happened to Scribble. And I've kind of been holding off on updating you guys because I just, the whole situation was changing so quickly and I wasn't really sure what to tell you guys. But the situation is a little bit more stable now and I wanted to let you guys know everything that happened from start to finish and where Scribble is at now. So a week from last Friday, I went into the guinea pig's room and I was just going to check on them as I normally would right when I get home from school. And I saw Scribble hanging by his leg from his hay rack. He was just hanging there completely still and not making any noise. So immediately when I walked over to his cage, I let his leg free and he walked away. And as he was walking away, he was dragging his back right leg and not moving it at all. So immediately I called my mom and then we proceeded to call the vet and take him in for an emergency appointment. And at this point I was very concerned but I didn't really understand how severe his injuries were. I assumed he had a broken leg and that he was going to be able to heal in the next few weeks or months and then he would be totally fine again. So as soon as we got there they did a full health check by taking his temperature, checking his eyes and ears, and taking his weight and stuff like that. So when they first looked at it, they weren't too concerned and they thought it could just be some nerve damage. However, once they put him down to see how he was walking, they started to be a little bit more concerned that it could be dislocation or a spinal cord injury. In order to decide whether to put Scribble out of his misery or to keep trying to help him, we decided to have an x-ray. After what seemed like hours, we finally got our x-ray results. The results were the best outcome, which was some nerve damage and inflammation in his right leg. However, this did not mean that he was completely fine and that he would heal on his own. We were sent home with some pain medications and instructions to separate him from his brother Ty and keep him in a very small cage. So as the vets were informing us of the outcomes that were possible, they did let us know that there were some outcomes that would not be so great. For example, if Scribble's leg never healed enough for him to be walking around comfortably, he might be in so much pain that it would be best to end his life. The other negative outcome that could happen is if Scribble stopped eating and he basically decided to starve himself to death. So as you can tell, in this period of time, it was not only important to keep him physically safe, it was also very important to give him all the things he loves and make sure he was doing well and was feeling happy. So in the next few days after the accident, Scribble was eating pellets and his vegetables, but he unfortunately wasn't leaving his hidey and he wasn't eating hay or drinking water. If guinea pigs are not eating hay for 10 or 12 hours, they can go into something called GI stasis. GI stasis is a very serious condition that can kill your guinea pigs, and it is when their digestive system has stopped moving. Knowing how serious this condition was, I decided to give the vet another call. They recommended that we put him on a liquid diet, which would mean that we would have to force feed him through a syringe several times a day. Luckily, Scribble responded very well to having the liquid diet, and he started to drink a little bit of water on his own and eat a little bit of hay on his own as well. We put him back with Ty for a few minutes at a time to make sure that he was socializing and didn't feel very lonely. Around five or six days after the accident, he started behaving normally again, and we were able to put him back with Ty. So while he does have a pretty noticeable limp that the vets have suggested will never completely go away, Scribble is doing much better, and he has enough mobility that he can hopefully live a long and happy life. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed listening to Scribble's recovery story. Thank you so much for watching.